Welcome to Only Good Heroes. I'm your host, Lucia Nazaro. And on this show, we highlight incredible people and organizations making a huge impact in their community and our world. On today's show, I'm honored to welcome Alegba Jahili. Alegba is a musician and coming to us from New York. Alegba, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. Pleasure. <laughs> So for those that don't know the incredible work you're doing right now, let's start by introducing yourself, what you do professionally. My name is Alec Bajaile. What I do professionally, mm -hmm. I work for the Board of Ed professionally. I treat children with disabilities. So that's how I make my money. I am a musician mm -hmm. in my heart. Mm -hmm. In my soul, mm -hmm. music is running through my vein. Can you tell our audience a little bit about, about your background in music specifically? I was born in Haiti. My background takes roots there. It's the drums. Conga playing all my life. The drum is the focus of my music. And then we have our culture. I'm Haitian. Mm -hmm. And voodoo is part of our culture. Voodoo is all drums and vocal, mm -hmm. a lot of a cappella. Then I traveled to North America. I went to Canada and I came to New York City early 80s, early 80s. In my house, there's always the blues. Mom, always listen to jazz. My ears start developing that feel for jazz music. In late 80s, there is a brand new wave of music that came from Haiti, which has always been the natural music of Haiti, which is voodoo music. It's culture, it's music, it's dancing, right? So the music came from there. So when quarantine started, you're doing something incredibly special with your talent and your gift and your passion, clearly, for music. For those that don't know, um, when COVID started and, and now currently you're still doing it, can you share with them what you've been doing with your gift of music? Well, six months ago, the last two weeks, New York City were at its peak in the pandemic. All we heard is siren, it's ambulances. Listen to Governor Como and the mayor of New York City, de Blasio, giving those press conferences. Your heart is racing. Mm -hmm. There is a bit, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't take it. Mm -hmm. I pick up my guitar, went to Prospect Park, went to the boathouse in Prospect Park to get some fresh air, running away from the news. Right? Out of nowhere, I start playing. People start gravitating toward me. But everybody wearing their masks. There was a young lady probably in her 30s, six feet apart from me. She was crying. Are you okay? It's like, no, 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 no. Thank you so much for what you're doing here. Life is coming back. You gave me a reason to leave. I'm seeing you here. You're helping. It's therapeutic what you're doing. Mm. You are an essential worker. I'm like, no, I'm having fun. For me, just for me. She's like, no, thank you. And she asks me, are you going to be here tomorrow? I'm like, if you guys want me to be here tomorrow, I will be here tomorrow. Then that's how I started it. Six months ago, every day I go there and I pray for the people. And they, they keep coming. Yeah. Then I call, on, I call one guy. He's a bass player. After two, three days, I call a sax player. Then the whole band came. We did a good three months like that with the band by ourselves. Like, I think you captured why you're doing what you're doing and the impact it's having on people so well. When COVID's passed in the future, things start to get back to quote unquote normal or more normal or our new normal, as I like to say. Do you think you'll continue this? This will continue. This has opened my mind to a greater sense of humility, serving your community. It was not music alone. The 
best story. One day I'm working, there's a woman came to me. She said, sir, I want to say thank you to you. I'm like, thank you? For what? What did I do for you? You've been feeding my child for the past three months. I usually go sell water. From selling water, my little business expands by selling beer in the park. So in three months, I lost my job. I came to your show. Boom, I started making money. For the past six months, all I heard is, thank you. You saved my summer. Alec, but as clubs start to eventually open, why do you think heading back towards the heart arts, heading back towards Broadway is so vital and key for people to do as well? So people have to be creative in those days. Mm -hmm. Okay, psychologically speaking, Mm -hmm. we know it's going to be hard for us to be inside for now. Mm -hmm. I don't know in the next six months to come. So we're going to go to a bar, we're going to go to a restaurant and perform. Because this is what we've been doing. It's it's community, it's this bar here, this restaurant over there. It's not like those big stages we have. We don't have no manager, we don't have anything like that. We try to bring the art to the people, straight to the people. clear that um, art makes an impact on people's lives, whether you're in the club listening or in the park listening. So we hope you do keep doing what you're doing, because even in what you've shared here today, it's very evident that you're impacting your community and you're impacting everyone that gets to watch the videos (laughs) as well that people post. Um, So truly thank you for the work you're doing to make your community a better place. And we hope people take this as an example and go out into their communities and offer music and hope um, and some of the things that you're giving your community during this time. So thank you so much for the work that you're doing. Thank you so much for having me. We appreciate you. Just a few more things before we let you go. First of all, we always like to donate a hundred dollars on this show to an organization of your choosing. Um, So, in your name um, on your behalf. So is there a favorite organization of yours, a nonprofit that you'd like to make a hundred dollar donation to? Cause we'd like to give that to you. Yes, there is is, uh, a friend of mine that started an organization for children. Ah, It's in Brooklyn. I'd like to donate that today. They just purchase a little place. Yeah. They start teaching dance and drum. To kids. To kids, yes, they're in Brooklyn. I love that. That's beautiful. Um, before we let you go, if people want to find out more information on you, do you have a website that you can share or somewhere where people can find out more about your music? Yes, Alec Bajaili. Alec Bajaili, you go there and then you Google that, you will see everything. Perfect. And lastly, Alegba, is there anything that you've learned personally? Um, you've shared some really touching stories, but something that you've learned that you didn't know before going out um, and doing this incredible work in your community? That's a beautiful question. Yes, I have learned how to be humble in life. I have learned at my age, who's an old man, how not to, to take things for granted. I have learned how to appreciate you as a human being, how to appreciate my neighbor. It's okay to look at each other in the eyes and say, are you okay? I'm here for you. Let's learn how to share. There is enough resources in this world for each of us to live. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us and for everything you're doing. Thank you, I appreciate you. For more inspiring stories, make sure to head over to onlygood.tv and you can find us on Instagram at onlygood.tv. We'll be back soon with more Only Good Heroes. (music) 